Yep, this is how I'm going to start my morning. Going to uh, grok the shotgun stock while I eat some eggs and taters and think about how uh, I want to put some of this clear traction material on there. It's a beautiful thing. I kind of even hate to hide the grain, but I do want to check it out and see how it feels. That's one nice thing about the traction grips. It's it's removable. And i got to see how it sticks to that uh, Formby's tongue oil finish. I have a feeling it'll stick pretty good. Well, I tried a bunch of crazy things. I tried wrap-around stuff, and you can tell by the wrinkles that it doesn't conform, obviously. It's not going to. So then I thought, well, let's just make it a stylish-looking thing then. Let's make it like grip panels. And so... That'll look pretty sharp. Basically, trying to get it so that it will go around all the little bulges and stuff and still lay flat. Now, whether or not the actual grip material is going to follow this, all these complicated curves, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but we'll find out in a minute. So this is the uh, sticky side of the material. It's the crispy side of the material. So I'd show you what it looks like. It's not really clear. It's pretty opaque because of the grit. But let's see what it looks like. So like I said, this stuff is uh, very stiff and I was kind of concerned about how it's going to conform so I thought maybe I'll just go ahead and show you how I'm working it onto here. And I got it put pretty much where I thought I'd want it. And you can tell if it's laying down or not because it'll get clear as you push it along. I think it's going to look pretty interesting actually. But I'm just going to take my time pushing it from one side to the other and see if I can get it to conform and then I'll see how it feels. And if I like it, I'll cut a mirror of it and stick it on the other side. I was going to go with uh, asymmetrical grip pieces because, you know, your hand grips the gun completely different. But then I thought, you know, this is a weird enough looking stock as it is. It's already completely asymmetrical with the cheek comb on one side and everything, so let's see if I can just come up with a size that works for both or a piece shape that will work for both. So as you can see, it starts to get clear as you work it along. And it is conforming. And this is entirely without you know me blasting it with heat or anything. I may have could have possibly added more to it one side or another but because of the weird complicated shape of the pistol grip stock I wasn't sure see how that's wanting to, wanting to lift right there that's what I'm thinking is is that anywhere that it's not going to conform it's going to do that kind of lifting thing so let's see if that'll stay down maybe a little heat might help but didn't really want to heat this wood stock. It's just dry, it'll just drive the oils, you know, to the surface. It might have the exact opposite effect of what I want. Instead of making everything grip better, it might make everything slipperier. Okay, so now that did stay down. Well, let's step back a tad and uh, see if it makes it look ugly or not. I don't know, man. I love my wood stock. I love the grain of it. I'm going to have to test shoot it and see if it makes it a huge improvement for me. Because I can't get a really useful size. If I make it super symmetrical, it'll be tiny and small. I wanted to have a little bit up there. But then if I start going around the edges, then it'll pucker in the centers. And I could add, you know, lots of little strips and stuff. I think that'd be hideous. And I wanted to have a, some smooth areas and some grit areas. Uh, here, just let me wrap my mitts around it and see see how that feels. Oh, I like it. I like it. That gives me a little purchase for my thumb and a little purchase for my fingertips. Obviously, I don't need any of this material here. That could have all just been a tiny little, like, upside-down L shape. Would have worked fine. 
but then I think it would look weird to have a big piece like this on the other side. Well, I'll cut another piece. I'll stick it on. I've already committed, so, you know, whatever damage this does to the stock when it starts to, if I have to peel it off, you know, I can always repair it. All right, well, there's the other side on. And just to give you an idea of, did I get it right? Did I do it symmetrical? Uh, the grip is not symmetrical. The grip has been shaped just to fit my hand, so it's a little hollowed out on one side, a little swelled out on the other side. So there is a slight variation on the line there on the front as it follows the wood. The stuff conforms great. Uh, I would think for more conventional shaped stocks and stuff, this would be a piece of cake for somebody to trim and put on a piece to fit their wood gun. But, uh, yeah, if you overlook at it. But uh, the deal is, is that my hand, let me see if I move it, put the gun this way, it'll be easy to see. So now I've got this part here, which is down, nice and good. And that's what's catching this part of the hand, which is what I want. And I've got some grip there. I don't think I really need anything in here. you got side grip, got that, and then this is pretty much straight back tight pressure. Gun feels really in my hand. I, this traction grip material, I mean, you know, every time I use it, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Uh, you know, it's so rough, and uh, I don't know. And then the minute I put it on the weapon, I'm like, wow, does that make, just grab in my hand. I mean, that's nice. You know. Okay, let me show you. I got the shotgun rig now. Took the flashlight off because it was falling apart. No big surprise there, right? Got my sling, which I'm not real crazy about because I'm starting to not like the neoprene part of it. It's too grabby. Grabs against my fabric too much. But in general, I'm happy with the sling. With the this closer, I've got more room now. And I can put this weapon right into my shoulder. And the strap helps hold it. And uh, I like the grip material. It feels pretty good. But as you can see, even for doing one-handed type reloads, perhaps, might help. If you had to put a round in, things like that. You know, uh, running off a side saddle, whatever, loading, pulling off your belt and loading. The strap really helps. And then I can just let her go. Obviously, not ideal for running the side weapon, but it doesn't bang into the side weapon, and I have good mobility, and I guess I could just pull it out of the way, flip it over my back, something, but I just wanted to show you how I got the strap. I like it. I like how it's running. Feels good. It's easy to shoulder. So let's take a few shots. Uh, I'm just going to shoot down there into the woods with some bird shot. No big deal, just to see how this handles the recoil and whatnot. Yeah, really, the strap, I mean, you just, it reduces the mechanical effort. You're basically just pulling the thing up in the battery and nice. So I think I've got it set up a little better now, and I think this is feeling good. For me, function is a little bit over form. <laughs> this is where I need to have some banjo music playing, like uh, Jeff over Gun Websites. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine, show you. Got this regular old sling you can get at Walmart or whatever. This is an ATI. This is by Sage, Hogue, Mountain Storm, Reshaped Remington, Traction Grips. Pretty happy with it. I'd like a light on it, I'll be honest with you, but uh, I think I can live without it for now. There it is. 
As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts on my shotgun modifications. If you think they uh, look like they'd work for you, give them a shot. And as always, keep supporting Mountain Storm with your wax slug making tool purchases. That's where I get my ammo.